Hello there and welcome to the channel. My name's Keith Mason. At the end of the first lockdown in London, I took my X-T20 and a 27mm pancake lens and set my camera to monochrome to see what it was like to be in London and try to capture um, how it felt to be in London on that day. Uh, today, um, it's the end of November in 2023 and Tomorrow morning, I'm going very early uh, on the Eurostar to Paris. I'm going to visit um, the Paris photo exhibition and uh, hopefully meet up with a couple of friends. But I'm also going to do a little bit of travel and street photography just with this setup. In terms of setting, I've set the film simulation to monochrome with a red filter which if there is any blue skies that helps in terms of uh, uh, firming up and, and darkening the sky a little bit. I've reduced the shadows uh, and increased the highlights to give a little bit more contrast from the standard setup of the uh, simulation. The images that I'm going to show you are all JPEG straight out of the camera. So I started my adventure uh, traveling down to King's Cross and staying the night ready for a very early departure the next morning. So it's 4am uh, and uh, I've just arrived at St Pancras. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting on the train and uh, heading off to Paris. One of the great advantages of just using a single body and a single lens uh, is it really forces you to focus more on your photography and less on your gear. And so it drives creativity. It makes you think about the focal length that you've chosen. In my case it's a 27mm pancake lens which is the equivalent of a 43mm on a full frame. Having those decisions made in advance, the monochrome, the set focal length, uh, all those sort of creative decisions are all focused on the external, the outside rather than on the gear itself. While the photography show was really good and there were some fantastic photographs, I found the hustle and bustle really quite a challenge to deal with. Although there were some pretty crazy people there. This is my favorite photograph that I took in the exhibition. A boy sitting on a bench, looking out to the world and I caught this woman passing by and it just looks like he is um, looking at her. After the exhibition, we walked around a little bit and I took some pictures of mopeds and cars. And this museum, which is to the um, end of the French occupation at the end of the first, uh, at the end of the Second World War. I also found this fantastic old style laundrette which I was really pleased to be able to capture. I always like photographing in the underground and in Paris that's just the same.
The next morning, my friends and I stopped by the uh, Henry Cattier Bresson um, Foundation to look at a couple of exhibitions. After that, we went to the Pompidou Centre where I took pictures traveling around in the uh, crazy uh, perspex tubes on the outside of the building. The next morning was wet and even the Eiffel Tower struggled to make an appearance. I used the slicked wet cobbles to create reflections. Before I left, I went up to the Sacré-Cœur, climbing the hundreds of steps up to the cathedral. Getting close to Garda Noor, I walked down a street where there must have been 20 shops that all um, had these fantastic mannequins dressed immaculately. And then finally, I returned to Garda Noor and to collect my train back to London. If you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks very much for joining me and until the next one, bye for now.